Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be setting up Deluge on our server, and that's going to give us our own personal seed box on the network. It's also going to incorporate into other applications later on when we start setting up things like Sonar and LiDAR. It's going to need a download client, and that's where Deluge will come in as well. So let's dive in and get started. I like to get the container for this application from linuxserver.io, head to the website, click on Fleet, and we'll be able to find it there. We'll want to click on this Docker Hub link, and then just scroll down and find the Docker Compose file. Next step, I'm going to SSH into our server cd to the directory where we're storing all of our docker container compose files and bind mounting the data and then we're going to create a folder here just for deluge and this is where we're going to create our compose file and paste this in and let's see if there's anything in here that we need to change id in this case is 100 and our time zone we can set to whatever our time zone is and then we'll want to store the config folder in this current directory next to our compose file and the downloads location. This you're going to have to put some thought into where you want your downloads to end up. For me personally, the way I set mine up, I would set it to shared public downloads. And shared is where I store sim links. So if you've watched my previous videos, shared public is a sim link that goes to the public folder on one of the data drives. Now, however, we want Deluge to be able to organize and manage some of the things we download. So we have to give it access to more than just a download folder. Otherwise, we're going to have to be going into that download folder and moving things manually. So this is how I would actually set this up. I would give it access to the full public directory. And then instead of it being put to slash downloads, we're going to put it in mount public. And being that we might be downloading some movies and music and TV shows, we're also going to give it. And that's going to allow it access to the media folder on our server. So it's going to be able to access the movies, TV, music, those sorts of things. And you'll be able to see how we use this when I set up labels in the application. But this is how I would set it up. The next thing I always like to do is just network mode bridge, personal preference. You don't need it. And let's go ahead and spin this up. And let's check to see if it's working. All right, good. Now the default password is just gonna be deluge and it's gonna tell us we should change that right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on this and connect. It didn't populate anything here. So let's close it and try to open preferences. There we go. And then let's head down to interface and we're going to change this password. Now we have to change this download location because remember we changed the bind mounts. So there is no bind mounted slash downloads folder. So this would just be downloading right into the Docker volume. And we don't want that. We want to have access to this data. So we need to give it mount public downloads just like that we'll hit apply let's take a look through the rest of these settings most of this we should be able to leave as defaults other things are just going to be personal preferences we're going to want to allow remote connections that way we can use deluge on our desktops and laptops and even use clients from our phone to connect to it And this plugin label, I really like to use. So we're going to add that. And I'm going to show you how I would set this up. So we're going to add a label for movies, TV, apps, you could have one for games, whatever types of content you download. But this is the reason why we passed it the media folder and the full public folder instead of just the downloads location. So if we click on movies now and label options, we can set a folder for it to move it to once it's done. 
and now Deluge can just automatically move the movie to Mount Media Movies for us and we don't have to manually do it and we can do this for the rest of the labels I usually put my apps in the public folder so under Mount Public Apps and same thing for games so that's basically Deluge all set up. It's running on the server, just waiting for us to tell it what to download. And what I'm going to do is connect the Deluge desktop client to the server, and we'll use that. So you can see I have it installed on my desktop. And this entry here is the one that I use personally. But we're going to add another one so that you can see how to add it and how it interacts with this new instance. So we'll click Add and type in the IP address of the server. Now we don't have a username and password to connect to this yet. And the easiest way to do that is just to add a user to the auth file. So here we are in our shared Docker deluge folder. Let's ls. We now have this new config folder. Let's cd into it. And we're going to want to edit this auth file to add a user. We'll use micro. And this is all in the deluge documentation, but this is the way that it works. You have a username, then a colon, a password, a colon, and then the user level. So it's very simple to add a new user. You just type in username, your password, your user level. 10 is admin, and then level 5 would be an average user. So if you do have other users in the house that are going to be downloading torrents, you can add them very easily here. Then you control S, control Q. Now you do need to restart the container. So sudo docker restart deluge. So that has restarted. Now we can type in that user that we just created in the auth file. Double click it. And now we're now connected with the deluge desktop client to the server. What we're going to do next is just download a test file, make sure it's working. Let's go after Puppy Linux. Open with Deluge. We'll add it. And then I'm going to change the label to be apps. And that should move it to the public apps folder once it's done downloading. And we don't have to have this open. We can close it because it's running on the server regardless of whether or not our desktop is on, whether or not the torrent application. As soon as we add it, it's on the server and it's running. And you can see in the web interface here, it is done downloading. Let's go ahead and see if it moved it to the correct location. CD shared public ls. You can see apps folder now in a downloads folder, ls apps. And there it is. So that's basically Deluge. This is working as intended now, and it's ready to accept connections and torrents from any thin clients you connect to it. Like I said, later on, we'll be incorporating this into other services as well. But the rest of this video, I'm just going to be adding it to the dashboard and to the monitoring system. Thank you for watching, and you have a nice day. For those that don't know, this is my Docker health script that works with health checks to make sure these containers are all up and working. We're just going to add the container name here, Deluge, to it. And you can watch my previous videos if you want more information on this. And then we're going to head on over to health checks to add it in here. And then we're going to test run it, make sure it's working. Green check mark, fresh ping, we're all good. Again, thank you for watching, and you have a nice day.